CRISPR Cas9, a revolution in the making, a history in the making. But what if, what if I tell you that you can be a part of this history? You can become a milestone just like how Hargovind Khurana is known today or Jennifer Doudna is known today. This is a great place to be in in today's era if you are into the bio industry, biotech industry or pharma industry. So today I am going to give you a very clear picture, crystal clear picture on what is CRISPR, how can you make a clear cut path into CRISPR, what exactly goes inside, what is the future scope in India, in US and then what should be your action plan to become a well-renowned researcher in CRISPR. And then I'll conclude with some bottom line, with some very insightful points. So let's get started. Welcome back. So today's video is all about CRISPR-Cas9 career scope. Okay. Many students come to me asking, sir, CRISPR is a new technology. We don't know which way it will go. But it is not just a new technology. It is a trending technology. And today we will talk about all the companies which are working on CRISPR technology in India as well as in USA. And this will open your eyes on what exactly is in store for future in CRISPR. So without wasting much time, here we are. So we are going to know first why study CRISPR. There, I have got nine points for you. The first point is if God is a good creator, if God is a good creator, CRISPR is a very good editor. Okay, CRISPR is a very good editor. Now, just like control F. So in your comp you know, computer, you want to find something, you do a control F and you can search and then you can replace. So that's what CRISPR does. It can search and replace DNA molecules and moieties. So it has got a find and replace function. Now, in the words of Jennifer Doudna, she says it's a Swiss army knife. Many things can be done. And by that, what I mean to say is multiple applications are there into multiple diseases, multiple parts and areas of biotechnology. So probably this is the only tool discovered in the modern era, which can be used in almost every subfield of biosciences. So that makes it really important. Okay. It is the next revolution in the biopharma se sector and it is growing very rapidly. I'll show you the number of companies which are working in India and US on this. And then it is, again, it's just the ABCD of gene editing. So you're just getting started. So best part is CRISPR is the base. You can build a lot of things from uh, on the top of CRISPR. So it's a platform on the top of it. You can build a lot of things, right? So that's very important and it helps you rewrite the code of life ATGC. So in future, there will be new industries which will be formed because of CRISPR and we can now control evolution and it's like clay, you know, you used to play with clay in the childhood, right? It's just like clay. You can play around, you can shape it in a, you know, a bridge or a car or a boat, whatever is your choice. So CRISPR is a clay and you can shape it. So you can get creative with its application. You'll never be bored with this technology. This is why you should study CRISPR. But now, future scope. Okay, so if we know how to, why to study, now let's look at the future scope. Now, as I said, the platform is extensible. Okay, it's a platform. On the top of it, you can build anything. So the tech is extensible. Next, it forms the basis of newer technology on the top of CRISPR. So it's like, let's say, okay, computers. So computer came on the top of it, internet was built. On the top of it, smartphones were built. So this is how it evolved, right? So CRISPR is the base, just like computers. So on the top of it, a lot of new technologies are yet to be discovered, which you could be doing in future. Now, very important, I always say, whatever PhD you do, you, it must have a commercial value. CRISPR has a commercial value because there are more than 10 companies in India and more than 10 companies in US which are working on CRISPR. In future, it will go, grow to 100, 200 companies also. In fact, every company will adopt in biotech sector. Now, it can be used in various diseases. What? Cancer, HIV, every disease which is originating from DNA mutation can be fixed with this. And again, cost effective, the 
other technologies are really complex complicated takes a lot of money a lot of time but this is fast and cost effective and then it will give birth to newer industries in cancer food shortages organ transplant hiv genetic diseases all this you know newer industries will be formed i, I remember when uh, you know uh, this uh, regulations came clinical research industry was born right the same way when crispr has come on the top of it all these industries will evolve designer babies who knows you could, tomorrow parents will be ordering designer babies so that's where the future scope lies okay now let's look at all the companies which are working in india now first thing uh, do not get demotivated because it's not that um, we have a lot of startups in india but that's an opportunity i'll give you example so you know when uber started in us ola started in india so basically in india what they do is they look at the technology in us and replicate it here that's how torrent biopharmaceuticals came that's how dr reddy's came that's how infosys came so they looked at the revenue models they looked at the companies in us and copied it in india so that's where you know india's uh, things grow now coming to india we have 10 institutes or if you can say uh, companies i can call, i'll call it institutes because they are you know funded by government but this is where 10 institutes where research is going on in india and very soon you will start seeing startups into this arena so now tata medical and diagnostics plus csir plus igib plus icmr so they are working from bangalore and kolkata and they have developed the tata crispr covid 19 test which is world's first and it is based on crispr right the next one iari is working on now iari is where it is in delhi and they are working on next generation metabolic engineering in soya bean for low phyte seeds genetic improvement of rice as well so there are two projects which is going on in iari third is icgb it's delhi as well as internationally available now rice gene improvement they're working on development of herbicide tolerant crops they're working on now Institute of Life Sciences, which is in Bhuneshwar, you have improving stress tolerance in crop plants. So these are agriculture-based CRISPR applications. Now coming to IIC, one of the best place where you should be, Bengaluru. They are using CRISPR for exploring arbovirus host interactions. Okay, so that's where IIC comes in. In STEM, which is again in Bangalore, they are working on genome editing of novel variants associated with cardiomyopathy. So now that's animal physiology or human physiology they are working on. Then you have CSIR NBRI, Lucknow, where they are working on genome editing of plants, developing improved tomato, cotton, chickpea, rice and brassica using CRISPR technology. Next we have NIPGR, where they are working, it's in New Delhi, they are working on regulation of root architecture in crops using CRISPR technology. Now, next IBAB, which is in Bangalore, so their molecular parasitology lab is working on genetic screening of P, which is Plasmodium falciparum, using CRISPR-Cas9 techniques. And then last but not the least, TIGS, which is in Bangalore, is working on crop improvement. So if you see, all the institutes, we can divide into two parts. CRISPR application in agriculture, that's what is happening in India, or CRISPR application in humans or, you know, on animals. So, yeah, this is where you can divide broadly. Now, very interesting thing which I would like to highlight about India is, see, India is in a place where we generally copy or learn from technologies in the US and implement it in India. You see right now government funded projects are happening and very soon all the people who are involved in these projects will, you know, graduate or come out of this project as startups. So you, you it will not be surprising if uh, SRF or a PhD holder who has worked in these projects will, will you know, start their future companies in India in CRISPR. So that's one thing. Now, if you are involved in these projects in India, it will be a big boost for your future career. I'll show that in the third part. But right now, these are the institutes which we know. Now, coming back to United States, which is the mecca of biosciences, we have, I have shortlisted 10, but actually there are many uh, therapeutics and biopharma companies and biotech companies which are working on CRISPR. Starting with Beam Therapeutics. Now, Beam Therapeutics is working on sickle cell disease and base editing applications. Moving ahead, CRISPR Therapeutics, Nami CRISPR. Hai. So they are working on sickle cell anemia, autoimmune disease. Then Editas Medicine, they are working on ocular disease, oncology and blood disease. So basically, if you're seeing uh, US, they're more working uh, on the animal part or the human part. 
Intelia Therapeutics, they're working on transethrin, amyloidosis, hereditary angioma, liver and lung diseases. Verve uh, uh, Therapeutics is working on cardiovascular diseases, one of the you know, most uh, affecting disease to humans. eGenesis Bio is working on improving organ transplantation using CRISPR. Sherlock Biosciences is working on developing diagnostic tools for uh, using CRISPR. And Hudson River Biotechnology is working on efficient plant breeding solutions using CRISPR. Again, this is agriculture. Sniper Biome is working on precisely destroying target bacteria with, without, while leaving the rest of the microbiome intact. So that's Sniper Biome. And then Locus Biosciences is working on, is a leading expert in engineering bacteriophages. So this is all about US. Now, here is something which I wanted to highlight. CRISPR career path is the most important part of this video actually, which I'm going to start now. Now, let's look at this. Whether you are in India or any part of the world, your destination, if you want to work on CRISPR, your destination should be USA. And if that has to happen, you have to start small and build on the top of it. Okay. So here is the career path, which I, I advise to my students here in Biotechnica. And that is you start with Biotechnica. And that is Biotechnica has four offerings as of now. So CRISPR hands-on internship, uh, which is actually really going houseful, just like a movie. We really don't have place, but yeah, Biotechnica has CRISPR hands-on internship. Uh, based on the availability, you can always check. CRISPR virtual internship, which is starting from 8th of uh, October uh, this next month. And then we have CRISPR certifications, basics and advanced. So that's, these are the three offerings we have got which you can avail, you know, start with no matter where you are. Only for the hands-on, you'll have to come down to Bangalore to do it. Otherwise, CRISPR virtual and certifications are always there. And then we are also offering CRISP, uh, free CRISPR internship to three lucky students who are participating in the lucky draw. So if you want to participate in the lucky draw, the link is given in the description. So you start uh, on CRISPR, no matter whether you are in uh, botany segment or the, you know, biology, um, uh, zoology segment or whichever cell biology, molecular biology, you can always get into this. And then uh, the next career path, which I would uh, you know advise you to follow is get into any of the CSIR labs or IITs or IACs, which I have shown here, any of these and start working on the project or the topic of your choice or and preferably do your PhD there. And one of the best ways, of course, is writing CSIR net. And now once you have done that, okay, once you have done that, then after that, you can move to US, okay? So you start with Biotechnica, learn the CRISPR basics as well as do some internship. Then in the meanwhile, prepare for CSIR and qualify. Even for that, Biotechnica is renowned for. And then after that, you get into any of these institutes in India and get the hands-on work experience, do your PhD and for postdoc, you go to US, okay? For postdoc, you go to US and once you have finished your postdoc, these companies will take you straight away okay you don't need a GRE, gre also for your uh, postdoc right so here we are uh, this is what we are looking at at this juncture we have crispr career path very clearly mentioned in this flow chart in this mind map and now is the time to conclude now before i conclude i want to tell you this see biology or in fact any subject is not for negative people. If you are optimistic, if you are ready to jump in and struggle and face all the hardship and succeed, so this field is for you. In fact, every field is for you. So if you really are ready to jump in, learn something new and work on it, you know, layer by layer to improve, that's how life is. That's how uh, you are going to grow. So here's the, here's the time to conclude. I will conclude in one line and that is CRISPR is a soil. You can grow anything there. But choice is yours, whether you want to grow your career on this soil and of course, uh, multiple technologies which you want to build on the top of it or whether you just keep going home saying that biosciences mein there is no scope and there is no future. Future or scope is for them who want to make it. If you want to make it, then CRISPR is a very good start. Start with internships and certifications start with 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 and slowly build upon it. So that's all about CRISPR Cas9 companies in India, in USA, and your CRISPR career path. I hope you like this video. Do let me know in the comment section. And if you have any specific
topic on which you want us to make a video, 15 years of experience we have, we'll definitely come up with something valuable for you. So go ahead, put that down in the comment section. And yes, I personally reply to those comments, all right? So don't worry, please put them down. I'm there for your career because your success is our achievement. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.